will now request the Inspector General to face this way, to turn and face this way. It's still in a position. Exactly. Thank you. Let's have now... You may face the band. Now, what is being installed is a ceremonial cape. It represents dignity of the rank and the solemnity of the Inspector General's office. It embodies the tradition of heritage and law enforcement, emphasizing the role of the police in protecting all its citizens. Next is the baton, which is commonly known as a swagger cane. It symbolizes leadership, authority, and the power to enforce the law and order. It represents the Inspector General's responsibility to maintain discipline within the force and ensure protection of its citizens. Next, he will be handed over. Next is the Constitution, which symbolizes the foundation of principles and values upon which law enforcement is based. It represents the Inspector General's commitment to uphold the rule of law, protecting constitutional rights and ensuring justice. Last, and by no means least, the flag of the National Police Service. This represents unity and allegiance of the nation, to the nation. It symbolizes the Inspector General's commitment to serving the country with integrity, professionalism, and dedication to the welfare of its citizens. Excellency, you may retreat to your seat. Service. On this solemn occasion, the newly appointed Inspector General of the National Service, Police Service will receive the command order from Your Excellency as the Commander in Chief and thereafter be formally installed into office. Good Lord, we are here in this auspicious occasion to pray and dedicate for the IG designate, Mr. Douglas Kanja. Good Lord, we bring him to you as your servant. You have chosen him. You have given us this moment to serve this country, Kenya, as the IG of National Police Service. Good Lord, bless him with knowledge and wisdom to continue dispensing his mandate and command to all the officers in the National Police Service. You may proceed and present. to serving the country with integrity, professionalism, and dedication to the welfare of its citizens. This occasion, I must commend the leadership of our National Police Service, the acting I the matters relating to the security of our country. It is very clear to us that there cannot be any meaningful operational independence 
and financial independence for them to discharge their responsibility as of the people of Kenya. Whatever capabilities we have, whatever uh, authority we have, should be focused While you still remain as you are, I'll request that you Your many years of service in the police service and to country counted in your nomination and subsequent appointment. Your dedicated service, your discipline, your commitment to both the National Police Service and to your country have stood out in your long career as a police officer. Today, you take over the realms as Inspector General of Police, and you will be in command of the largest body of armed men and women. It is a huge responsibility that comes will go out of its way to continue to facilitate both in terms of human capital, equipment, the chair can retreat, then we'll leave the rest as they are. Chair, you may retreat. Close ranks. Mr. Douglas Kanja, our new Inspector General of the Police. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor this afternoon to receive the new Inspector General of the Police subsequent to my nomination and Parliament having approved your appointment and my subsequent appointment and your swearing in this morning. And finally, this function that now gives you the authority and the responsibility for command of our Kenya police forces. I want to say on behalf of the government of Kenya and people of Kenya, Mr. Kanja, congratulations. Your many years of service in the police service and to country counted in your nomination and subsequent appointment. Your dedicated service, your discipline, your commitment to both the National Police Service and to your country have stood out in your long career as a police officer. Today, you take over the realms as Inspector General of Police, and you will be in command of the largest 
body of armed men and women. It is a huge responsibility that comes with a measure of authority, but an equal measure of accountability. Today, we witness yet another occasion when our National Police Service is granted a new commander. And I want to tell the National Police Service in Mr. Kanja, you have a seasoned leader, a disciplined career police officer, and a dedicated Kenyan. I have faith and I believe in the capabilities of Mr. Kanja to provide leadership to the men and women in our police service. Today, as we celebrate this occasion, I must commend the leadership of our National Police Service, the acting IG who has been in charge of this uh, service over the last few months, and all the other officers who have supported the leadership of the National Police Service in making sure that there is continuity and there is clarity on the matters relating to the security of our country. It is very clear to us that there cannot be any meaningful development if we do not have a secure and stable environment. And as it is the responsibility of our security forces to ensure that there is safety and security for human life, for property, and for all attendant issues for us to be able to prosecute our development agenda. I want to say on this ceremony that the government of Kenya will go out of its way to continue to facilitate, both in terms of human capital, equipment, legislative and other policy support that is necessary to enable our security forces to provide security, safety, and stability so that we as a nation can continue and can participate in nation building and in, develop in the development of our country. To secure our democracy as a nation, the rule of law is the bedrock for our democracy. The respect for all the laws and the attendant requirement of our security agencies and especially our law enforcement agencies to make sure that all of us, irrespective of who we are, the, the offices we occupy, our status of whatever nature, obey, respect, and submit to the rule of law. It is a cardinal principle for us to secure our democracy and to remain a stable, progressive nation. 
And therefore, I want to ask of all of us as Kenyans to support our security agencies as they secure our country, ensure safety of our children and of all our citizens, and in enforcing the rule of law as a basis of all of us being equal citizens of one country. It is important for us to remind ourselves that both security, safety, and stability of our country is important and necessary for our development and the progress, and that the rule of law is the bedrock of our democracy. And it calls on all of us to support our National Police Service and all the other security agencies in making sure that they discharge their mandate and they live up to the aspirations of the people of Kenya. I want to commit, as I have done in the past, that we will continue to look at the terms of service and also all other requirements of our security agencies, both human capital, welfare issues, the kind of tools and equipment they need to be able to efficiently keep our country safe and secure and protect us from criminals, crooks and terrorists that we will do our utmost. As I said yesterday, we are now into the implementation phase of the recommendations that were developed by the task force that I set up on all the aspects of our National Police Service, the Prison Service, and the National Youth Service as we do it for the military and all the other security agencies. And my commitment is that we will spare no effort and every resource that we can lay our hands on, we will make sure that the portion that will support our security agencies is made available. I want to commend our security agencies for their commitment to the service of our nation. We will continue to ensure that all our independent constitutional offices are protected from any manipulation, intimidation, or coercion. It is the reason why on my first day in office, I signed the necessary instruments to ensure that our National Police Service have their operational independence and financial independence for them to discharge their responsibility and mandate in accordance with the Constitution without any interference, manipulation, intimidation, delay, or whatever other interference from any quarter. Mr. Kanja, as you take over as the Inspector General of the Police, it behoves you to protect this police force, this police service, as an independent institution in the service of the people of Kenya, making sure that all citizens are treated equally before the law. You have the responsibility as the commander and the leader 
this institution to protect the National Police Service from any manner of manipulation or intimidation or blackmail from whatever quarter and to make sure that all of us as citizens of this great nation respect the laws of the land, abide by the rules that have been set for all of us without status or any form of entitlement. All of us are equal before the law. And I want to uh, ask all arms of government for us to work together in the service of the people of Kenya. Whatever capabilities we have, whatever uh, authority we have, should be focused not on our own gratification, but in the service of the people of Kenya who have given us the responsibility and the privilege to serve in the various positions and in the various offices that we serve in. So it is my very humble request to all arms of government to find common ground on all matters in a manner that we further the interest, the collective interest of the people of Kenya.